Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean's vibrant jewel known for its rich cultural African Indian heritage, stunning landscapes and warm hospitality. Join us and stay to the end to immerse yourself in the world famous Carnival, a kaleidoscope of colors, music and dance that embodies the spirit and energy of this captivating nation. Trinidad and Tobago are an island nation located in the Southern Caribbean, northeast of Venezuela. Trinidad is the larger and more populous of the two main islands. With an area of 1,980 square miles, the country is one of the Caribbean's leading gas and oil producers. Trinidad has three mountain ranges running east-west across the island, with peaks up to 3,085 feet. Between the ranges are fertile valleys and plains. Tobago has a more rugged topography of hills and ridges. The main ridge in Tobago reaches 2,300 feet above sea level. Beaches and coastlines include Pigeon Point, Store Bay, Maracas Bay and Buku Reef. Major rivers include the Caroni, Aripo and Ortuere. There are a few freshwater marsh lakes such as Nariva Swamp. The Bocas Islands lie off the northwest coast of Trinidad. Tobago is bounded by the Caribbean Sea to the north and Atlantic Ocean to the east and south. Port of Spain is the capital and largest city with over 50,000 people. Other cities include San Fernando, Arima and Scarborough in Tobago. About 96% of the population lives on Trinidad. Before European colonization, Trinidad was inhabited by indigenous peoples including the Arawaks and Caribs. Today, a small population of indigenous descendants remains, mostly mixed with other groups. The World Bank estimates that 1.5 million people reside in the country. The two largest ethnic groups today are Afro-Trinidadians, descendants of African slaves, and Indo-Trinidadians, descendants of Indian indentured servants brought to work on sugar plantations in the 19th century. About 34% of the population is of African descent and 35% is of Indian descent. There are also communities descended from Spanish, French, Chinese, Syrian and Lebanese immigrants. Intermarriage between groups has created a distinctive mixed-race population. Roman Catholicism is the largest religion at about 29% of the population. Hinduism is next at 22%, reflecting Indian influence. Other major groups include Muslims, Anglicans and Presbyterians. There are also adherents of spiritual Baptists, Orisha, Rastafarianism, Buddhism and Baha'i. The official language is English, a legacy of British colonial rule. Standard English is used in government, media and education. Most of the population speaks Trinidadian English with distinct idioms and pronunciations. Many also speak Trinidadian Creole, which blends English vocabulary with African grammar and syntax. Common among Afro-Trinidadians, Creoles reflect the slave experience. Some Indo-Trinidadians speak Hindi, Urdu and other Indian languages. Spanish is spoken by a minority of the population. The cuisine of Trinidad and Tobago is a delicious blend of African, Indian, Chinese and European influences. With a diverse cultural history, the islands have developed unique culinary traditions and flavors. We'll highlight popular dishes that are a must-try when visiting the country. A famous street food, Doubles consists of two barra flatbreads sandwiched around curried chana chickpeas. Bars are made from fried dough and have a wonderful texture. Chickpeas are stewed with Indian spices like cumin, garlic, pepper and curry. Aloo pie is a savory fried pastry with a spicy potato filling. Cubed potatoes are seasoned with turmeric, cumin, garlic, pepper and other spices. This is placed inside dough that is folded and fried into crispy pastries. 
Alu pies are sold from food carts and trucks all over the islands. Their addictive flavor makes them a favorite snack. Sahina is a rich and flavorful dessert. Coconut milk, sugar, flour and spices are simmered into a creamy, pudding-like consistency. It is often flavored with nutmeg, cinnamon, bay leaf and ginger. Sahina has its roots in traditional Indian and Persian cuisine. It's frequently prepared during holidays and special occasions. Folari are crunchy fritters served with chutney. They are made from a seasoned batter with flour, baking powder, herbs, onions and split peas. Folari fritters can be filled with ground provisions like yam and cassava. Trinidad was first inhabited by indigenous peoples including the Arawaks and Caribs. The Arawaks were largely agricultural while the Caribs were more warlike. Tobago also had Amerindian settlements before European arrival. Trinidad was initially documented by Christopher Columbus during his voyages in 1498 and colonized by the Spanish soon after. Tobacco and cocoa cultivation used forced indigenous labor. The Spanish founded San Jose de Oruña in 1592, which later became the capital port of Spain. In 1797, Trinidad was surrendered to the British under the Treaty of Amiens. The British now controlled the Eastern Caribbean and it became a crown colony. Under British rule, Trinidad's economy transitioned to sugar plantations, reliant on the transatlantic slave trade. After slavery's abolition, indentured laborers were brought from India and other colonies. Cocoa cultivation was also important during this time. In the late 19th century, Trinidad and Tobago were incorporated into the British West Indies Federation. The colony then became a ward of Britain in 1889. Both islands progressed towards self-government in the mid-20th century. The 1956 general election led to full internal self-government. In 1958, the West Indies Federation collapsed and Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago decided to pursue independence. After negotiations, it peacefully gained independence from Britain in August 1962. After independence, Trinidad and Tobago remained part of the Commonwealth and adopted a parliamentary democracy. Challenges included falling oil prices in the 1980s and an attempted coup by the Jamaat al-Muslimin in 1990. The country persevered to become one of the Caribbean's most. Trinidad's GDP is roughly $30 billion based on World Bank estimates. Oil and gas account for around 40% of GDP and 80% of exports. It has rich offshore reserves in the continental shelf. It is the largest exporter of liquefied natural gas to the US and a major supplier of ammonia, methanol, steel, and urea. State-owned energy companies include Petrotrin and the National Gas Company. Downstream industries include the production of fertilizers, iron, steel, and petrochemicals like ammonia and plastics. The Point Lisa's industrial estate and expansion projects drive this sector. However, fluctuating energy prices make the economy vulnerable though small compared to energy. Other sectors include the manufacturing of beverages, glass, food and cement. The services industry accounts for about 60% of GDP. Major services include banking, real estate, retail and tourism. Once dominated by sugar, cocoa and coffee, agriculture today is just 0.7% of GDP. Food crops include rice citrus, vegetables, and tropical fruits. However, import dependence levers, the country susceptible to risking global food prices. The country attracts over 500,000 tourists annually to sites like Maracas Bay and the Caroni Bird Sanctuary. However, tourism is underdeveloped compared to many Caribbean nations. The vibrant and diverse culture of Trinidad is highlighted in its lively festivals and celebrations throughout the year.
From massive carnivals to Hindu holidays, these festivals showcase the island's blend of traditions. Let's explore some of the top festivals that reflect the culture and spirit of the country. Carnival is the biggest festival in Trinidad, culminating on the days before Lent. The streets come alive with colorful masquerade bands, steel pan music, and exuberant dancing. Lavish costumes and carnival queens dazzle spectators. Origins can be traced back to African masquerades during slavery and French Catholic traditions. Jose is a Muslim celebration that commemorates the martyrdom of Hussein ibn Ali. Tajas, or elaborate shrines, are paraded through the streets by costumed performers. It is a time for devotion and community gatherings. The festival shows the strong Islamic influence on Trinidad, originally brought by East Indian immigrants. Diwali is the Hindu festival of lights and is celebrated by Trinidad's large Indo-Caribbean community. Homes are decorated with Deya's clay lamps. People dress in new clothes, share meals and light fireworks. The festival celebrates the victory of light over darkness and good over evil. It honors the Hindu culture preserved in Trinidad. This lively festival celebrates Tobago culture with Parang folk music, traditional dances, storytelling, crafts and food. Villages host performances portraying Tobago's history and customs. It brings together all aspects of the island's heritage for locals and tourists to immerse in. If you enjoyed this video on Trinidad and Tobago, you'll love this next one.